Earth body. In this tutorial, we will go through the blueprints of the trajectories part one, and I will show you how to use all the options I put inside the blueprint, the player blueprint, and also the uh, chain ball blueprint. So these are the keys, as you know. Let's go inside the player blueprint. I open the player blueprint here, and you can see uh, this is in, in purple is the part of the chain ball and also of the options you have. So you have the slow motion on off here, and here you can select between the uh, chain ball and the laser harpoon. As you see, when you uh, select, you press the right mouse button, you select, you can switch. And basically what you do at the beginning, you hide or show these actors here. These actors here, I set up these actors to give uh, a better illusion that you are handling or the, the laser harpoon or the uh, chain bolt. So you have the two cables uh, here. Here there is the the ending of the the cable, and for the chain bolt you have the sphere, the metal sphere, and also the skeletal mesh chain. So basically, when you be You have the illusion that you are handling the, that weapon. Mm -hmm. When you press the left mouse button, you launch the weapon. So um, here is the, uh, the part where you launch the weapon. Here are, are all the options you have. So basically, you have the chain mesh, which is uh, this chain here, but uh, you can also have the laser chain. So here you can really select all the all the, um, the mesh you want. You can create your own mesh or import from other uh, packages. Uh, just pay attention to the um, the sides, um, approximately sides here. You have 15, 7, 6, so the 15 is the length, and also this is 15. And this is important because I set an option here uh, of the spacing between uh, these mesh types. So I set to 12. I show you if I set to uh, 20, what happens. So we increase the space. Perhaps it's better if I set to 30. Basically, you are increasing the space. So um, this, uh, these mesh are 15 uh, length, so it's better to keep 15. The, the chain must be kept to 12 because you need to overlap the chain uh, one another so they are connected. And for the laser, perhaps it's better to keep 15, but it works also with 12. Uh, this is the chain scale. This is the other parameter I set to uh, to the chain scale. Let's see what happens if you set to six, for example. Basically, is increasing the this mesh here, and uh, um, you can play with this parameter also. You can set also to one. So. In the, in the player, I set this. This is the size of two, uh, basically. So I set the chain also here to have the same size. You can increase. Uh, you can increase this, uh, and you will also increase this uh, uh, as the same. Uh, then here you can set the type of collision of the chain. Here you have the the last uh, um, uh, the ball. Let's say the ball mesh. You can change also this. Uh, when you you have the the laser harpoon, you don't use this, but you use this one. Um, another another uh, um, another uh, options is this is the animation rotational uh, speed of the ball. So the the ball is uh, this last. Uh, I open the blueprint just a second. This one. So you have. Uh, this last mesh here, this is the ball, and you can rotate this when you launch the chain. And this is the speed. Uh, I put, for example, 8, increasing the speed. You see better the speed when you have the harpoon. If I put 1, it will rotate very, very slow. So I 
put back to four. Um, this is the chain speed. Uh, so how much uh, speed you want to give to the chain, to this chain uh, slide when you launch forward. And this is the uh, backward. So basically, when I launch, the interpolation of the spline gives the animation, and I set to five. I can also set to, for example, uh, two, and it will, the animation will be slower. And uh, here, on, when it comes back to you, I want to increase the, the speed. So I put, uh, for example, uh, six. Let's see what happens here. So you see it's very slow when you launch and it's very fast when it comes back. And now I put back as was before because it is more realistic. So five, you can, we can also put 10, for example, let's see. Okay, so I put back five and here was four. Okay, uh, here in this option you can add a particle. In this case, I set the explosion, but you can set whatever you want. So smoke, uh, ice, uh, whatever particle, and you you want, and this will be set on the uh, on the on the ball or the harpoon. So I connect now the, the explosion. Let's see. And here you can set the size of the particle. So it was two, now I set to four to have a bigger explosion. And let's see now. If I set to one, Options here. Uh, this is to um, fix the last mesh attached. So basically, this is just an, op an optimization here. I set at the bottom of the blueprint, and uh, um, it's just to uh, fix. Uh, and it's better to keep it uh, true every time this uh, because it, it gives more uh, uh, realism. Basically, the last uh, uh, mesh, the last uh, chain mesh. Uh, sometimes it detached from the spline interpolation. So I basically remove the last two um, uh, points of the interpolation so they don't detach. They detach when the, the animation is very, very fast. And, uh, uh, and that's it. Here you have the, um, the uh, selection between the three splines. So these are, the, these are the three splines here you have. So this, this, and this. And uh, I basically, when I launch, I select uh, randomly one of these three. And uh, finally, this is the chain uh, ball material uh, if you want to force uh, uh, a material on the, the ball. Um, otherwise, you use the, the, the one of the ball, which is this uh, metal one. Um, one thing more on the chain, so I show you how to um, see the, the chain with the meshes. You just enable here the uh, construction script, and you see, you can see now the, the meshes, and you can play also um, with, the, with these meshes here. So you can select the laser or the uh, metal here, and you see you have a preview of how it will look la like when you launch the, the splines. And uh, if you want to change the position of the spline, which is the most important thing, you need to disable this because otherwise it's too slow to refresh. So you disable this and you keep it disabled because you don't need it in the game. And you basically you start moving the spline. So you, you do your, uh, your movements here. You can also cancel a point. You can uh, copy, sorry, you can copy and insert uh, a new a new spline point, and so on. So here you can really change the the trajectory. For okay, example. one last thing uh, is how you create the collision between the uh, chain ball and the walls and the pavement. 
or any other object. Uh, basically, I set a tag, it's called a block chain, that you can put on every actor uh, in the scene, for example, here on the walls. If I click tag, you see this blockchain here. When there is this tag, you can uh, add it to every actor of the scene. The uh, chain will uh, uh, will disappear immediately and will go back in the hand of the player. So basically, it doesn't uh, uh, cross the, the mesh. And also here on the floor. Um, so this is useful when you have walls. Uh, or things that you don't want the chain to pass through. When you are in the level, you can you have these options on the right here. You can choose uh, all the mesh you want. For example, in this case, I want to set the, the cube. Uh, you, you have to um, select uh, the destructible mesh of this cube. So if you don't have the destructible mesh, you generate it here, create destructible mesh. And of course, you have to enable the plugin of the destructible mesh you have uh, up here. Otherwise, all the package doesn't work. Um, this plugin here, this one, you have, it has to be enabled. And um, when you uh, have selected the, the mesh, which can be any kind of mesh, and also the destructible mesh, which are the parameters you can use? This is the scale. So uh, I set now four as the scale. And here, uh, this is basically this rectangle you see here is the detection of the of the chain ball on this mesh. So basically, when the chain ball uh, overlaps this uh, uh, yellow uh, cube here, it will destroy. It will spawn this uh, this destructible mesh and will destroy the the cube. So you can uh, um, adjust this. Because it's, it's a smaller mesh, it's not a column, so it's a cube. So to adjust this, you set this to zero, which is the collision location, collision box location. So you can move this, and you can um, perhaps it's better to set like this. You put back to zero now it's centered inside and uh, this is the extension I put 60 okay so basically this is the better uh, detection for this cube so it's centered inside the, the collision box and it's the collision box is a little bit bigger than the mesh you can also decrease this like this but is uh, not enough so it's better 50 Okay, uh, if you give more, uh, uh, if you set, for example, 60 here, it has more space to detect the, the cube, uh, which is more realistic when it impacts. I put 70. So let's, uh, let's test this. And that's it. And you can use all the kind of mesh you want. Uh, and uh, material and so on. Okay, this is the tutorial. I will uh, uh, do uh, more tutorial on this if needed. So you just need to um, ask me in the comment. And uh, for every question, uh, write me or put in the comment and I will reply you. Bye bye.